The success of Chandrayaan-3 has provided a significant boost to the Indian space program. Did you know that the flawless soft landing of Chandrayaan-3 has also paved the way for the first ever Indo-Japanese moon mission? In this next report, Weon's senior correspondent Siddharth MP has more details. In the space sector, India has immense technological cooperation with global powers. Rocket engines in use by India have been jointly developed with the French. The cryogenic engine technology is inspired by Russian engines. India's space agency ISRO has also launched satellites that have been co-developed with the French space agency CNES. In the year 2024, India and the US will also be launching their first ever jointly built satellite. It is called NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar or NISAR. It is meant to image the Earth in unprecedented resolution and offer insights into changes on the Earth's surface. It could help study the effects of climate change, the Earth's natural resources and impending hazards, among others. While the Indian Space Agency worked with Japan in the 1960s, there have not been any major joint missions. The success of Chandrayaan-3 will certainly change that. Having demonstrated smooth lunar soft landing, India and Japan are making progress on a core developed lunar exploration mission. They are calling it LUPEX, Lunar Polar Exploration Mission. And to tell us more about LUPEX, Weon's senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to Ishii Yasuo, the vice president of the Japanese space agency JAXA. For several years now, the Indian Space Agency ISRO and the Japanese Space Agency JAXA have had close cooperation. But now they are working on a joint mission to explore the moon. To talk to us more about this, we are joined by Ishi Sun, who is the Vice President of JAXA. So please tell us about this interesting mission LUPEX and what are the objectives? Yes, uh, LUPEX is the joint project uh, with JAXA and uh, between JAXA and ISRO. And uh, we will provide a rover on the moon and uh, uh, India will provide the lander to the moon. And uh, the purpose of our mission is to investigate the water uh, allocation around the polar area. And that is a very uh, important issue for us. So who will be providing the launch vehicle for this mission? And when do you expect this mission to realize? When, uh, what is the current status of this? Okay. Well, basically, basically the launcher system will be provided by JAXA. And, uh, uh, we we uh, expect we can have that uh, project in a uh, four or three years. So uh, we are now studying the, the uh, conceptual and uh, basic uh, phase two studies. Yeah. So Chandrayaan three is expected to be more like a precursor to an Indo-Japan mission to study the moon. From Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, We on World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.